The last video I did, I was in the Rocky Mountains in Colorado, and now I'm in Marion, Illinois, southern part of Illinois. And this image is of a paper. There's more. There's more to this paper underneath it. I didn't put. I, I'm not showing the whole paper in this. But uh, this is a paper that I've been distributing here in Marion, one of three actually, and I believe that if you full screen this, you should be able to read, probably be able to read uh, the writing that's on here. What I did was I, uh, I put some pictures on here to try to paint a picture for people without actually using paint. Uh, try to get an idea across what, of what I'm saying here. I do not believe that these courthouse judges that bring people in, they go out and they have, uh, or they have the uh, police bring people in and uh, they, they're extorting money out of people a lot. I do not believe that they are justified and this is what this paper has to do with. So I'm going to go ahead and read this. Across the top it says, The seed of the beast is found in the rich men's courthouse. Verily I say unto you, they earn their reward for corruption, for with what judgment in robbing the poor of their right they are judged the same. And I stood upon the sand of the sea, and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion, and the dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. Here is wisdom, let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. Now the weight of gold that came to Solomon in one year was six hundred three score and six talents of gold, which equates to six hundred and sixty six. And he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth, and them which dwell therein, to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. Now when Solomon had made an end of praying, the fire came down from heaven, and consumed the burnt offering and the sacrifices, and the glory of the Lord filled the house. But they set their abominations in the house, which is called by my name, to defile it. Then did Solomon build in high place for Chamosh, the abomination of Moab in the hill that is before Jerusalem, and for Molech, the abomination of the children of Ammon. And they built the high places of Baal, which are in the valley of the son of Hinnom, to cause their sons and their daughters to pass through the fire unto Molech, which I commanded them not, neither came it into my mind, that they should do this abomination to cause Judah to sin. Then God turned and gave them up to worship the host of heaven, as it is written in the book of the prophets. O ye house of Israel, have ye offered to me slain beasts and sacrifices by the space of forty years in the wilderness? Yea, ye took up the tabernacle of Moloch and the star of your god Remphan, figures which ye made to worship them, and I will carry you away beyond Babylon. But Solomon built him an house. Howbeit the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands, as saith the prophet, Heaven is my throne, and earth is my footstool. What house will ye build me, saith the Lord, or what is the place of my rest? Hath not my hand made all these things? Ye stiff-necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears, ye do always resist the Holy Ghost. 
as your fathers did, so do ye. And this is the reason of the levy which King Solomon raised, for to build the house of the Lord and his own house, and Milo and the wall of Jerusalem, and Hazer and Megiddo and Gezer. For Pharaoh, king of Egypt, had gone up and taken Gezer and burned it with fire, and slain the Canaanites that dwelt in the city, and given it for a present unto his daughter, Solomon's wife. And this is the part that doesn't show up in the video. Tell me, all of you, who desire to be under the law, what are court charges for breaking city ordinances to God? Are they not partial laws that fraudulent judges use to rob the poor of things freely given to them from God? And who wins a majority vote to pass any corrupt law on any level in the broad way to destruction? Think about it. And who justifies the uncircumcised in heart Gentiles court as their beast worshiping judges sit without the body of Christ? When a rich man says to a poor man to judge not or you'll be judged would he also tell an unjustified courthouse judge of exploitation and extortion laws the same? Those who deny the poor of their right, which they are freely given from God, will die the second death and perish forever, unless they repent and turn from their corrupt ways. Consider this as a warning to those who transgress against others by law. I care to tell you a little information about a man named David. He committed a covetous act of fornication with another man's wife, and then he made sure the man, Uriah, got dead. And David also numbered Israel from Beersheba to Dan for Satan. And God was displeased with this, and he punished the children of Israel who wanted a king. Now this man David was given a message that came from God, and the message was that after he slept with his fathers, God would set up a seed after him that would build him a house. But David didn't wait till after he slept with his fathers for God to set up the seed. No. David claimed before he slept that Solomon was the builder. And David also threw in courts with that claim of his. And about 3,000 years after Solomon's counterfeit temple was built, certain Rothschild banksters funded the building of the Israeli Supreme Court, which is without the lively stone temple. I tell you the truth, as it was given to me to tell, old Jerusalem will never be new Jerusalem, which I was shown. And the so-called Prime Minister of Israel, who is also known as King Bibi, will not escape judgment for the abominations committed against Jacob, Israel's descendants, and what they call Palestinians. This King Bibi, Antichrist creep, isn't even a real Jew to God. Romans 2, 28 and 29, For he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly, neither is that circumcision which is outward in the flesh. But he is a Jew, which is one inwardly, and circumcision is that of the heart and the spirit, and not in letter, whose praise is not of men, but of God. And when you see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Jeremiah 9.11 And I will make Jerusalem heaps and a den of dragons, and I will make the cities of Judah desolate without an inhabitant. Thus saith the Lord my God. I was shown these things a while ago, and I've been able to put these verses together more and more 
over the last few years. I understood that the courts weren't justified um, with some verses, and then I was, and then I found a bunch more. You know, this is this is huge, and I, you know, the reason why I talk about David and I and I say, you know, that he. Uh, committed an act of fornication with another man's wife and he you know numbered Israel for Satan is because I'm not that I feel a need to judge David but I'm just showing what David's character was if he was able to do that then I believe that it shows uh, by his character that he could uh, lie whether intentional or not about the builder because this uh, Solomon is not he was not the builder that God was talking about in 2nd Samuel chapter 7 the real builder builds with lively stones and a lot of you already know that so this is huge because this has been a major way that the false powers that have been set up have uh, manipulated people is through these courts and what I'm saying is that Solomon a long time ago set up the seat of the beast for these judges who are not justified to basically steal people's money and turn them into uh, you know slaves to the court and then they threaten well you're either going to pay pay up or you're going to go to jail. They're not justified to do that. So this is a paper that I have, I don't know, I've probably distributed maybe a couple hundred of these here and uh, as I say there's other papers that I've that I've distributed also but this is huge going from the real uh, or the false uh, uh, authorities that have been set up to God's real ordained rulers which is happening uh, I believe it's happening in a sort of a subtle way but uh, I'm seeing things speeding up lately with the understanding people I've heard more and more people lately that I didn't hear wasn't hearing as much before that what they're saying is there's a uh, false government set up they're starting to realize this and as the false governments I'm, I'm not just talking about the United States I'm talking about the whole world you know as as these uh, people and the uh, small percentage of people at the top that are trying to manipulate as they're trying as they're doing this and they're putting more pressure on people uh, the more the more people are oppressed the more they're here willing to reconsider things and they're they're hearing people are hearing more now so I felt led to do this video today. Thank you.